All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with similar height and reach. All right, now for the official Ladies introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 137 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Juggernaut. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. So here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? And he landed the right hand there. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. And they separate. Nice punch lands over the top. Spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh. 
Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. All right hook attempt, no good. Big punch lands through the middle. Just misses there with the left. Lands with the right hand. Nice leg kick lands. Caught that kick there. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Oh, tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there. Now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, side control now. Lee's pass is denied. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Back to the feet now. Leg kick. Came of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Just a beautiful body kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh! oh a little single collar tie there. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Throws the right hand there. Just misses with the right hook. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Stay strong. Still in the fight. Let's go. Good stick. Right hook to the head block. Big kick lands. Big roundhouse now, just misses. 20 seconds left. That's a big strike right there. Ooh, looking to set up the head kick, but he misses. Pretty good job staying patient as he lands the counter strike there. Strong work by Lee. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, DC is back from the concession stand Pop as we get in. our next round underway. And you had to like what you saw in terms of the volume and the efficiency on the feet in that previous round. Oh, he did a great job of just being active, really setting down on those right hands, showing that it was not only going to be striking, but a lot of significant strikes landed over the course of that round. 
All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. And both guys really throwing with authority. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back and just truly makes up the target. Tight to go. Oh, is that a huge strike right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Just over three minutes. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to get too many more No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got it very fast. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from Bach. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to, to hold, hold him. him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Both fighters get up now. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here, and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Both of these gentlemen are putting it on the line. with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oh, is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. Get right here. Just out of range with that left hook. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Right punches there. Oh, lands another punch there. And not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he guy. has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Nice kick. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. Try to establish that jab. Lee gets caught with that punch. Good night if that landed. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. 
Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent visible damage and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up it's red it's all beat up he's limping he's turning away there are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken big body kick lands oh nice connection there with a the punch dc great time to land that punch Looking to land the leg kick now. Back and forth we go. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Well placed kick there by Lee. Beautiful leg kick throw. Great punch landed with so much power. Lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Well, he landed a big knockout in the previous round, and you can just tell his confidence is growing from here. His confidence is through the roof, as it should be. He's doing a great job right now of landing strikes. He just now has to find the one that's going to end the night. Just over three minutes to go. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt oh. bad. Right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. With two minutes and change to go in round three. We're well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Big roundhouse now just misses. Checks the leg kick. Oh man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Now he gets back to range. Just out of range with the big right hand. Counters with a straight right hand. That'll work. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Now connects with a right. Whoa! Oh, big diving punch lands up top. What a fantastic strike. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. 
Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Final seconds of round three. I mean, how many can he take? All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Beautiful body kick. It was a good night if that landed. Stay busy. You control this. Nice punch lands. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Big kick lands. Watch knees to the body. Ooh. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. He blocks the shot. Found the target with that left hand. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lee. Circling to his right. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Three minutes to go in the round. Nice head kick. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Beautiful straight counter. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Great punch. Shot gets blocked. The defense saw that one coming. Oh. Holy smokes! He put him to sleep. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Oh, got him! He got him! Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. And back to his feet. Under two minutes now to go. Look at him drive his shin into the whole body with that body kick. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Good punch. Right under the shoulder, the body kick lands. Well, he misses with the left punch there. out as he blocks the kick. Take him down. 
under one minute remains in round four of a possible fight. Knee to the body. Pretty good right hand. Come on, man, let's get that. Tape. What a punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Some nice back and forth action here. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Trying to establish that jab once again. Here we go. Let those hands go. Give me a three punch down. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. 15 seconds. All oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Nice. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, that's the end of the round. He's got a cut on his cheek from that round. There are certainly worse locations for a cut on the cheek. It's not going to trickle down into the eye. Nonetheless, pretty significant gash. We'll see if the cut man can close it up. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Fifth and final round for Cup. Nice straight punch. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, huge block! Don't wait, you hit him first. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Good punch, land. Good night if that landed. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's Back and forth we go. <laughs> he blocks the punch. Nice punch lands over the top. Follows it up with a nice combination. Now just misses. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. It's too high. And now he's got him hurt bad. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. And he's back to his feet. Good sign for him there. Beautiful kick. Checks the leg kick. Right hand punch to the clinch. Oh, knee to the head. Two minutes and counting to go in this fight. Oh, that's a nice strike. Just missed with the left there. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Wow. Oh, All right, he's trying to 
control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. Oh! He's out! shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 46 seconds of round number five. Playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And gotta be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you do it. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.